Hello everyone, this is D Slice, and according to our Instagram poll, you guys wanted math for our next video, so this is what I'm giving you guys. Today's video is going to be on explaining how to add fractions. Okay, so in order to sort of explain fractions, we need to imagine a whole object. Something round might help, like an orange or a lemon. You can easily imagine that be split. So this is what we're going to be using for a fraction example. Right, so what we do to the orange is we split it in half. So what do we have now? Two halves of an orange. That's right. And this is how we write it. Oh, and why is there one on the top and two at the bottom, you might be asking? Those are the numerator and the denominator, my young grasshopper friend. The denominator, the bottom number, defines how many pieces was an object split into. The numerator, the top number, defines how many pieces were taken. Then you can split an object forever. Like, if you take the same two halves of an orange and split them, we have one-fourth now. Mass can never just magically disappear, so you'll be splitting the object forever. There is no such thing as the smallest number or the biggest number. Yeah, and you can do all sorts of stuff with fractions, like add, subtract them, etc. So the thing about adding fractions is, well, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, for example, you take three pieces of what's left of our orange, or three-fourths, I'll have one, or one-fourth. And if I take your three-fourths and my one-fourth and add them, what do we get? Four fourth, which is also equal to one, a uh, whole orange. Yeah, but subtracting and adding fractions is only easy with fractions that have the same denominator. But what about the ones that don't have the same one? Well, we have to get them to the same denominator ourselves, either by uh, dividing or multiplying the fractions by the same numbers. For example, we have two sixths and four thirds, and we need to add them. We can see that if we deal, divide six by three, we get two, which means that the denominator is divided equally. So by multiplying three by two, we get six, and our new fractions will look like this. Two six and eight six is 10 six. Here we multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction four thirds to appeal to the denominator of the fraction two six. Now we have our new fractions, 2, 6, and 8, 6, which we will only need to work with the numerators, and get 8 plus 2, which is 10. The denominators stay the same, so we have 10, 6. Hey guys, really hope you like the new way of editing and learn something from this video. Hit the subscribe button and this cute little digital pug will 100% be guaranteed to be your Valentine's Day this year.